Hi, I'm Sally and here are my tips on how to roast a whole salmon. Perfect for a big family get together. When you buy the fish, ask the fishmonger to gut it and trim off any fins. First of all, I'm going to put some dill inside the fish. You can just put the whole stalks in as well because they all add to the flavour. Then a few slices of lemon. And then some celery tops and some chopped celery. And finally, peppercorns. I'm going to cook it in a well-buttered, foil-lined baking tin with all of the same flavouring. But before I put it into the baking tin, I'm going to pop this little sausage of tin foil inside the salmon shape it down like that so that when it goes in the tin it's going to hold its shape really well in the oven as it bakes. I've just lifted the salmon into the tin and positioned it so that it looks like it's sitting up nicely and that will really help for the cooking because the heat is going to get evenly through the fish whilst it's in the oven and then over the top goes another really well buttered piece of foil and you make good tight parcel. So that goes into a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade and the rule of thumb is that it's about 10 minutes per 450 grams of salmon. This one is about two and a half kilos so I'm going to allow 45 minutes in the oven and then we'll be able to take the skin off and decorate it. Right, let's see how it's cooked. Oh, lovely. Wow. Look at all those lovely juices. Just test it by pushing the top of the salmon. I'm going to put a knife into the salmon and just give it a twist and see that's perfect. The salmon colour has slightly changed, the texture is just right. So I've let the salmon just rest for a few minutes. You want to do the next part whilst the salmon is actually still a little bit warm. And you're going to take a sharp knife and very carefully cut across the backbone of the fish. Now, taking a round-bladed knife, you want to start to peel the skin away from the fish. I just wanted to show you the fact that this salmon here is slightly, the flesh is slightly grey, and that can be because it's a little bit fattier. So you just take the knife and very, very carefully scrape it off. And there you go, you reveal the lovely pink salmon underneath. I've lifted the salmon onto this serving platter, but I'm going to finish this off with the classic cucumber and mayonnaise. So, take some mayonnaise and spread it very, very lightly over the fish. The fish is nice and cool by now. The mayonnaise is on and now it's time to put the cucumber scales in place. I very finely sliced these just using a, a kitchen knife, but if you do happen to have a, a, a blender that has a blade in it, then you can set it to a fine setting and get really nice, thin cucumber surface. Just pop that over the fish and there you have it, your perfect celebration dish.